Joining me now is Benjamin Mufatlane, the CEO of Business Connection. As I said earlier, you're out with six month results, but I did have a big debate with the editorial team on the confusion that you certainly brought to the table here at CNBC Africa on the comparative numbers. Now, I know that there is some JSC regulation mm -hmm. as to why these numbers are on the table and you're comparing a, a six month period on a prior six month period that ended November 2008 yes. with February 2010. Yes. Can we take a step back? Look, I think what you, what you have to, thanks Bronwyn, is that the business connection changed the year end. Uh, traditional our year end used to be the 31st of May, which meant a half year was end of November. So last year when we did change and went to shareholders, which shareholders approved, is that our year end, an extended year end, ended up being the 31st of August. So on a like to like basis, you actually had a 15 month uh, year for year end 31st of August, 2009. So from a comparative point of view, that's why this comparison it, it comes across as confusing, but it's because of the change in the year end. And it may be just because I'm blonde that I, I can't get a grip on it. But anyway, moving on. The market likes these numbers. We're at 6 rand 10, closing up 2.5%. Uh, it's two minutes past 5 o'clock. And the last time we spoke was about your revitalization yes. program. And that seems to be finding some traction. Look, I mean, the revitalization is definitely beyond us now. Uh, it's taken us quite a lot of hard work. I think that when we embarked on the process, the recession hadn't kicked in. Uh, so what you're seeing in these numbers, you're seeing a lot of the efficiencies coming in, a lot of the cost savings that we spoke about uh, when we reported our year end last year. We, we projected 100 million rand worth of savings coming through, and already we're starting to see the benefits uh, in the six months. What, it, what is impressive is the operating margin up at 6%, and you're aiming for an 8% operating margin by 2011. Are you on track to meet that target? Well, I mean, we're very much on track. I mean, the 6% is obviously for the six months. We're quite pleased with that. Uh, it's going to take a lot of hard work to the 8%, but what you're also seeing is you're seeing a lot of improvement in the services side in terms of of the GP percentage as well, and also the quality of the revenue that is coming through. So we're quite confident we'll get to the 8%. Uh, certainly an issue that's been plaguing other players in the ICT environment is government delaying projects or reallocating funds. Do you, do you, you have very minimal exposure on the public sector side? Well, I mean, it's, it, in the six months, it was 15% of our revenue. And for the year and 31st of August last year, it was 17%. So on a like to like basis, you might say that there's been a slight decrease. Uh, but we know we don't have too much dependency on government. We still believe that there's an opportunity for business connection to grow our market share in government. Is there also opportunity for consolidation? And I think we've spoken about this theme before, business yes. connection being a, a potential target, especially if your margins are starting to climb to this level. Well, I, I don't think that us be necessarily becoming a potential target. I think we may also look at opportunities within the market space for uh, to grow our services revenue, to grow innovation, and also with the changes in legislation on the communication side. I think that we're more vulnerable when we're not dropping the kind of numbers. I think the minute we start looking at the growth, we might look at opp opportunities ourselves. The consolidation is happening on the global side. You've seen the Sun Oracle um, deal that has happened. So consolidation will continue to happen as everybody looks at the market going forward. In the managed service space, are you bashing heads with the like the heavyweights, uh, Dimension Data be, being one of your key competitors well, I mean, in that space? Uh, you know, we, you know, traditionally, I think we've always been compared to Dimension Data. Uh, I think that the they're very strong on the networking side. Uh, but I think what our biggest strength is remains on the outsourcing side. We still remain the leader in that space. And there we bash heads against the, the likes of IBM Global Services, a combination of HP EDS, uh, and in some instances we do compete against Gijima AST. But I think on the pure outsourcing side, we still remain uh, the leader in that market by far. Benjamin, comment on the, the share price and creating shareholder value. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, if you look at, uh, I think that business connection in the past has lagged behind some of our peers in the in in the market. I think that our shareholders have been very patient with us. In the past, we've always known to be a business that had excess cash and we're always paying dividends. Uh, I think what we're looking for is just the pure performance of our business, improving the return on equity for, for our shareholders as well.